Happy Saturday! Okay, I'm going to do a super quick video and show you how the new Stampin' Up! gift box punch board works. So this will be available for you to order starting on September, uh, sorry, August 28th. Super close now. First thing you're going to do, extend your arm. And second thing you're going to do is pull your score out of that side pocket, just like the envelope punch board. Now, I've already decided, I'm going to see if I can get this up into the camera here for you. I'm actually going to make the box that's two and a half by two and a half by three and a quarter. So I needed a nine by nine piece of paper. And it also tells me here that I need to use the medium start line and the large diagonal line. So that's all I need to remember now. Now I'm going to see if I can get this done quick for you. So you start at the medium start line, which is just right here. And that's the only thing you're using that start line for is strictly lining it up. Okay, so what you're going to remember, punch, score, score, score. It's like a hockey game. Okay, so punch, and I'm going to do three scores. One, two, and you can see that arm there, and then three is my diagonal. Okay, so I did both the ones from here and then the diagonal. Now remember, you have to turn it counterclockwise. If you don't, it won't work. Line it up again with that medium. Punch, and then I've got my three scores. One, two and three whoops I totally didn't finish that one there we go and then I'm gonna turn it again medium punch whoa sorry score 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 and then last one I'm gonna line it up with the medium again punch score score score. Now the only thing left to do here is you'll notice you've got these couple notches that need to come out. If you just stick this guy right back in so that these two little points and center your score lines between it. Punch him. <clears throat> and we're going to do the same thing over here. And the same thing right here. And then the same thing right there. Okay, so last step. I'm going to put that arm away. On the back side, just like with the envelope punch board, we've got this extra little job that the back punch does. So if I do that, you'll see it creates these little hooks. This is what's going to allow you to close the box when you're done. Okay, so just do all four of those corners. And then you can use your score tool. It's great for this because you can go through and do your scoring. Now, if you're going to do these using DSP, I would recommend going light on your scoring because you'll notice sometimes if you go heavy on your scoring with DSP, you actually get that little tear line. Now, this comes together so easy because these corners will collapse together. And I'll just show you so that you can see that kind of last step once everybody's up. So what you're going to do is you're going to take two sides opposite from one another, hook those little tabs together, okay, and there's the first one. And then the second one comes right back up and we're going to hook it again. And that's it. So you'll see with my project today um, that it's got kind of a coordinating one for the card I did. But super easy, super fast. Remember, there's only three steps, or sorry, four steps. You're just going to do the punch and then score, score, score. Hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial.